Hey everyone, Ro here. Today we are discussing the Dark Imperium, and how it may be a lost war. General spoiler warning to begin, as the events we are discussing today are from across the Warhammer 40k universe, so you have been warned. But, with that said, let's just jump straight in. So, as we know, the Imperium of Man covers the length and breadth of the known galaxy. And when the galaxy was broken into two halves by the Cicatrix Maldictum, more commonly known as the Great Rift, so too was the Imperium. The southern half we know as the Imperium Sanctus, and the northern half as the Imperium Nihilus, also known as the Dark Imperium. Now at the onset of the Great Rift's opening, the entire galaxy was plunged into darkness. The Astronomicum went out as the warp all but exploded. Why this happened we're still not sure, though certainly the Emperor must have felt its repercussions. The Sea of Souls was in turmoil, and the countless billions of lives crying out in an instant. At that time, it didn't really matter where you were in the galaxy. The chaos, no pun intended, was the same. In the months and years that followed, the Imperium was beset by enemies anywhere and everywhere. The tides of chaos pouring out of the Immaterium, the Xeno Empires attempting to seize upon the moment, it was endless and the end of the Imperium looked all but a certainty. However, it was in this moment of darkness that the Imperium Sanctus had two major things happen, which thankfully stemmed the tide. Firstly, after the mysterious blackout of the Astronomicon, the Emperor's light once more flared back out across the Immaterium allowing much-needed communication and transportation to happen across the Sanctus's worlds. Space Marine chapters and Imperial forces alike fought back against the tides on world after world, no longer just in the name of the Emperor, now for simply the survival of humanity. Secondly, the return of Rabute Gilliman and the launch of his Indomitus Crusade. Not since the time of the Great Crusade itself had fleets and armies so vast advanced into the stars. The Primaris creations of Belisarius' call had given the returned Primarch legions of Astartes, and thus this force was unleashed from the throne world itself back out into the Imperium a sledgehammer blow into the advances of chaos, as world after world was liberated from certain destruction. This was the Emperor's will made manifest. Since then, while the Imperium Sanctus is still aptly described as a war zone, it has, thanks to these two factors, largely reached what could be called a stable situation it is still very much the Imperium. Across the Great Rift, however, the situation in truth could not be worse. Here the Imperium Nihilus, the Dark Imperium, is aptly named. The Great Rift of rolling warp storms is a barrier to the Emperor's light. Communication from the Throne World and the Imperium Sanctus is all but impossible. Travel from Sanctus itself is limited to a few precious corridors across the rift, which even then are a risk at best. Navigation within the Dark Imperium is best guesses and estimates, and warp travel without the Emperor's Astronomicon is reduced to short desperate jumps. Demons of the ruinous powers preying against each and every ship in wild abandon. Every venture into the warp is met with a loss of crew. 
the fact that this half of the galaxy is even called the Imperium is quite simply wishful thinking. Most worlds remain alone. It's people frightened and terrified, some praying to the God Emperor for salvation, others fearing he's already lost. Even Astartes' chapters can be described the same. Though they fight on in defiance, most do so with the grim realisation the Imperium this side of the rift is fighting a losing war. So is that the case? Is the Imperium Nihilus a lost cause? Well, surprisingly, there's quite a contrast of opinions on this, which as always is one of the things that makes the 40k setting the best one out there. However, the one that really piqued my interest lately was from the novel Spear of the Emperor by ADB. And I'll do a review of this another day, but just quickly I've got to say this was the best read I've had in well what feels like quite a while. Just one of those books you really don't want to put down. If you haven't read it, read it. Trust me, you will not be disappointed. Now we won't get into wider spoilers here for those of you that haven't so don't worry, but there's a real interesting insight into the perception of Imperium Nihilus from a marine who's come from the relative stability of the Imperium Sanctus. And this comes from a marine named Amadeus who's been sent across the rift to assess the situation of the Emperor's Spears chapter, a chapter still fighting desperately within the Dark Imperium. Now, according to Amadeus, a notion that is growing ever more present within the forces of the Imperium Sanctus is that the north side of the Great Rift is already lost. Quite simply, it will never be reconquered and the reinforcements it needs are never going to be sent. In fact, when he refers to the Imperium Sanctus, the side of the rift that he has come from, he just calls it the Imperium, as if in crossing the rift, he has left the Imperium behind. It's a real startling description of the state of the Imperium Nihilus, how desperate things must truly be. And perhaps maybe the most important revelation from that isn't just one Marine's opinion, it's the fact that he mentions that this is already discussed within Rabute Gilliman's court, and that there are many who appeal to the Primarch to abandon Nihilus completely, to recall any and all forces that can be back across the rift. And this is just absolutely mind-blowing to me to think about. To literally abandon half the known galaxy, half the people of mankind, and leaving them to their fate at the hands of the ruinous powers. Strip it of whatever resources it has, whatever forces may be useful, and use it to shore up the Imperium as they still know it. Sure, from a tactical perspective, maybe that is the right assumption to make, the right theoretical calculation to manage, but from a human perspective, man, it's undoubtedly a selfish one. What good is it in even having an Imperium of Man if you abandon its people so easily? Sure, maybe this war can never truly be won, Maybe those reinforcements never will come. But to me, isn't it the fight that matters? The resistance. The hope. Maybe there's some military commanders within the Imperium calling for this measure. And if the High Lords were still in charge, then it could have possibly already have been implemented. However, thankfully, the responsibility lies with the returned Primarch Rabute Gilliman, the Lord Commander himself. 
And while maybe within his calculating mind, he knows the odds are slim. Perhaps nearly impossibly so. But he still fights for all the people of mankind. All the people of the Imperium. Sanctus and Nihilus. Now when he first crossed the rift with his Indomitus Crusade, we saw him reach the homeworld of the Blood Angels chapter, appointing Dante to lead the forces of Imperium Nihilus in his stead, naming Dante Warden of Imperium Nihilus, commander of all the Imperial forces north of the Great Rift. To me, this is certainly not a move Gilliman would make, if, like some of his commanders, he felt the Dark Imperium was already a lost cause. And maybe most importantly for this conversation, when speaking directly with Dante, Gilliman specifically stated, while the situation across the rift is dire, it's not as bad as he feared. So yes, the situation is bleak. But even then, Gilliman still doesn't see it as a war already lost. Maybe for those lesser commanders it is. It would be if they were in charge. However, for Gilliman, maybe that's just not the case. When he looks to the Imperium Nihilus, he sees a war that he can maybe still win. Maybe this is why he's so eager to cross the rift again as soon as he can, knowing that time is of the essence. Or maybe it's a more simple truth, one that has plagued Gilliman since his return. Politics. He can see with each passing month the growing rumours and clamour to abandon the people north of the rift. Maybe he can see the growing swell of support that this measure is gaining. And so maybe he needs to push across the rift to show the Imperium still lives. Not just for the people of the Imperium Nihilus, but rather unexpectedly for the ones of Sanctus just as much. To show them that the people of the Imperium still fight they still draw breath, and as long as their faith and resolve endure, the Dark Imperium is not yet lost. What of the forces across the rift itself? Well, we know that countless Astartes chapters are doing their best, straining against the tides of chaos that come, and they are fighting a losing battle. There's little debate about it, the torchbearer fleets that Gilliman dispatched, bringing the gift of Primaris, have given some much needed hope, and in itself probably saved countless chapters and worlds from the brink of destruction. But that alone is not enough, and it doesn't alleviate all the problems they face. Dante and the Blood Angels are attempting to rebuild their system into a figurative throne world of the north. As such, he has been amassing a fleet Nihilus, a collection of vessels salvaged from Imperial forces he finds still surviving. So the Blood Angels have been able to begin venturing to worlds in need of aid, and they are rebuilding their chapter into its former formidable force. But how much can this truly turn the tide alone? How long will it take to build? At the moment, it's more likely akin to a raft amidst the ocean. There are other hopes too. The convents of the Sisters of Battle, the Order of the Sacred Rose, located far to the galactic north. Here, the faith of the Emperor holds true against anything the forces of the ruinous powers throw its way. Together with the forces of the Blood Angels, these are just examples of the beacons that hold out amidst the dark. And so too hope still burns. Vigilus, despite the odds, still holds. And as such a pivotal link with the Imperium Sanctus remains available. 
Man, it's a real interesting topic to debate. Honestly, it's not something I'd remotely considered. As bad as the plight across the rift is, the mere notion of abandoning it. Even in the grim dark universe, I hadn't contemplated that. However, here we are. Yeah, there's been comments about how it's already lost before, but never have they rung so serious and so true. Where you genuinely feel that there are those debating, considering just how it could and should be done. Let's be real here, the more and more it goes on, the hope and fate of the Imperium genuinely does rest on the shoulders of Gilliman. And not because his mind is the greatest tactical strength the Imperium possesses, not because he is the greatest warrior the Imperium has, but because crazily, maybe this genetically created demigod is the most human soul the Imperium has left. And he will not abandon its people. But as always guys, what do you think? Do you think the retreat from Imperium Nihilus is a proposal worth considering? And is it a plan that should be implemented? Can you really see the forces of the Imperium leaving fully half its people to the mercy of the ruinous powers? And can you see a predicament where maybe Gilliman will finally entertain it? As always guys, leave your thoughts in the comments below, I love to read them. Huge thank you to all my subscribers, your support truly means a lot to me, it really does. And if you're new, please consider subscribing to help the channel grow. But with that said, I am off, and I'll see you all again real soon.